This is like one of the greatest debates of all time. And it's weird because it probably shouldn't be. Muhammad Ali versus Bruce Lee, who would win. Um, this has been asked to me so many times. Recently, Travis and Jason Kelsey, football guys, podcasters, I listen to this pretty regularly, and uh, they talked about it. So let's dissect their opinion, and then I will also give you a definitive answer on who would win, Bruce Lee, Muhammad Ali. Jason, you have a very interesting t-shirt, and I can't stop thinking about how good the fight would actually be. So I gotta yeah. ask you, who the f*** are you who taking? Do you think would win? Who are you taking, dude? He's got a t-shirt, it looks like, not gonna lie, that doesn't look like Muhammad Ali or Bruce Lee. Dude, I'm taking Ali. You're taking Ali? Over Bruce Travis, Lee? What are, we, what are we talking about? Ali would beat the f*** out of Bruce Lee. He's like five <laughs> some foot something, like. Uh, he's definitely five foot something. I don't think he's four foot or six foot. Okay, let's get the, let's get the intangibles first. Bruce Lee height and weight. Bruce Lee's five foot eight, 141 pounds. If you're not sure what that is, roughly about that big. Was he actually 141 pounds? That's kind of crazy. Okay, so this is this is Bruce Lee's body. If you've never seen it before, kind of wild, to be honest, that you've never seen Bruce Lee's body before. Like probably one of the most famous bodies of all time. Huge lats, pretty long wingspan, narrow but strong arms, and uh, a bench press 95 pounds, 10 times. French press, is that like, when you use your tongue on a bench. Incline curl, 35. Okay, but these are pretty low numbers. Okay, and now we have Muhammad Ali at six foot three, 236 pounds. So a full five foot eight, seven inches taller and almost a hundred pounds heavier. And this is what Muhammad Ali looked like. RIP to both of these men. Some of the greatest martial artists of all time. Again, incredibly lean. Very strong, long arms, kind of the same build, but like, uh, I think Muhammad Ali's a little bit more stout. Just like do that and you get Muhammad Ali. Bruce Lee, he doesn't even have gloves on. He's using his feet. So wait, are these the rules? Are we talking like, okay, we kind of just jump right into their fighting. What are the rules? I need to know what the rules are. Is it an MMA fight? Is it a boxing match? Is it a street fight? What's the venue? Bruce Lee's gonna walk right into a right straight and be knocked unconscious. what's gonna happen. <laughs> Uh, possible, uh, unlikely that he would walk right into something. Muhammad Ali's fast. There's no doubt in my mind that he could catch him with a right hand, 100%. He could probably catch him with a lot of right hands a lot of the time. Muhammad Ali was the greatest. Bruce Lee probably wouldn't walk right into it. Bruce Lee probably would keep his distance for a really long time. I doubt that he would blitz in on Muhammad Ali. Bruce Lee can dodge a bullet. Okay, all right, well, <laughs> that's not, that not good. You think he can dodge Muhammad Ali's hands? <sighs> there's a reason there's weight classes. Ali's got the reach. He's floating like a butter butterfly, stinging like a bee. Ooh, talk to him. Uh, Bruce Lee also floats pretty well. Bruce Lee's movement is pretty good. He's, he's incredibly fast. As you have probably seen in a video of mine where I react to Bruce Lee's sparring in his early days before he developed uh, Jeet Kune Do, his movement wasn't the best at the time. He definitely was no Muhammad Ali when it comes to the footwork and the movement, but he's so fast. Uh, I think Muhammad Ali, when it comes to footwork, I think Muhammad Ali would take it 100%. I mean, nobody really beats Muhammad Ali as far as footwork goes. As far as head movement goes, Muhammad Ali's light years above what Bruce Lee was. Um, and we're, we're gonna take both of these guys in their prime, by the way. I would give both the footwork and the head movement and the punching mechanics since he said he was gonna walk right into it. I'd give all three of those to Muhammad Ali. I mean, Bruce Lee was impressive. I'm not trying to take away from Bruce Lee, but um, zero bit of me thinks that, Ali, that Ali's losing that fight. Dude, Bruce Lee. How much of me would think that Bruce Lee. It would be an upset if Bruce Lee beat Muhammad Ali, 100%. He can play ping pong with nunchucks. Okay. Nunchucks is all you need to hear there. Num nunchucks isn't a thing. Also, I guess I didn't really introduce these guys. Um, this is probably one of the greatest centers. What a what a pause here. One of the greatest centers to ever play the game of football, which is a big guy position. It's a very smart tactical position. You have to make a lot of decisions. You're also blocking. You're keeping people away from the quarterback. This right here is one of the greatest tight ends to ever play the game. Um, definitely a route running tight end who has a decent bit of blocking prowess as well, but definitely one of the, the craftiest tight ends of all time. These guys are not regular dudes okay so this is their perspective on this not fighters either actually i've seen a clip of travis throwing some hands maybe we'll break that down later all fantastic tricks <laughs> and fantastic ways to cement your legacy i'm just saying yeah there's no chance 
No chance. No chance. There's a chance. I mean, yeah, I'm giving it zero percent. Like, I mean, I, I guess zero percent. Zero percent is kind of crazy in anything. Could always catch somebody. Like maybe if he catches Ali off guard with like a kick. Yeah. But, Ooh. Yeah, I don't think for a second. Because it's not like he knows Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Like Brazilian jiu-jitsu is an all-time like equalizer. Okay. So let's take let's start with that. Bruce Lee would possibly be able to not catch Muhammad Ali off guard with his kicks, but consistently, possibly, depending on the size of the arena or the fighting stadium, the stage, wherever they're fighting, I don't know exactly, in this made-up situation, he could possibly stay away for long enough to eat up his legs. Possibly. He was a strong guy, he had great kicks, definitely some of the fastest kicks, and the mechanics in which he throws these kicks are the fastest way to throw fast kicks. Called the pendulum step, not as powerful, but very fast. It would catch him off guard. As far as Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu goes, or as Jason here says, Brazilian jiu you know, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I actually didn't say as weird as I thought. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, the great equalizer, yes, it makes a big difference, um, 100%. If you know it and you're high level and you're going against somebody who has no knowledge of it, it makes a big difference, 100%. But Bruce Lee, while maybe, in my opinion, not the greatest fighter, of all time, he is one of the great learners of martial arts. So this was like his, um, I did a video on this a while ago. This was like his book of learnings and practice. All this right here, I just opened up a random page. All this right here is jujitsu. This is all jujitsu. This is an, this is an, uh, neck and arm lever, half Nelson, arm lock. This is just an arm bar. This is a weird place to arm bar from. You don't really see that very often. This is an arm bar. This is jujitsu and judo. That would be Japanese jujitsu, not Brazilian. Oh look, I must've thought this page was cool at some point. That's crazy. More judo throws. So Bruce Lee would take these notes on these grappling martial arts long before they were popular. He was no jabroni, if you will, when it comes to jujitsu. He had some knowledge on it, definitely more than Muhammad Ali did, 100%. Was it enough to equalize? Hard to say. I don't. I don't know. To be honest, jujitsu is an all-time like equalizer. Of oh, it doesn't matter punching. size. Like, you, yeah. Yeah, like you, you get down on the ground, force the guy to come down to where you're at. What is what is Bruce Lee? No. If you do Brazilian jiu-jitsu right now and you compete, sit on your back and wait for them to come to you. Sorry, I had to. That's my bad. This little inside baseball for Brazilian jiu-jitsu. It's called guard pulling. Anyway. What is what is Bruce Lee? No. I, I, that's a martial art, but it's not it's not Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He's not a submission guy. He's a right. he's a striking guy. Did they not see him fight Kareem? Hello, what are we talking about here? Look at Bruce Lee here showing off some early Jiu-Jitsu. Look, getting a head and arm choke. Look at this. Almost makes the the big man tap out. He gets out big man though. Does he do Jiu-Jitsu anymore after this? Gosh, the size difference between these two is absolutely insane. There you go, it goes for a bulldog choke. So he thought this stuff was cool. He learned it, he, he, he was interested in it. And I just don't think from a striking standpoint, he's gonna be able Gosh. to outstrike the greatest boxer of all time. Oh. Okay, so what happens when you kick a boxer? Somebody should have made a video about this. What happens if you kick a boxer? It's a great question, Seth. <laughs> Let's get to the sparring. He's starting to use a bouncier movement. He's trying to get in and out, and one way to negate that is a leg kick. Or a head kick, I guess. So, sorry Seth, I'm gonna talk here. So like, you can see the way that, that Lucas, stud boxer versus me, av average guy, right? You can see the way he's reacting to these leg kicks. It's weird, it's like, he's not super used to it, he's not sure where the kicks are gonna go, he's just not used to seeing it. Oh man, I must have seen that before. And it would definitely take a bit of time. Terrible punch there by me. Ooh wee, I'm gonna throw a side kick here. I want to, I want to. Oh, a little roundhouse kick up to the head. His footwork is much better than mine here. My kicks are much better here. The size difference is the main difference between this being like Muhammad Ali versus Bruce Lee. Listen, I know what I just said. Just ignore it, okay? Lucas is definitely hard to kick here, but not impossible. Actually, I've got another one of these. I went with a buddy of mine, Jake, and we did a round of just kicks versus just punches. Let's watch it. The theme of round two is going to be openings. I've got headgear on, so he feels more open to punch me in the head. Oi, low kick. Punch me in the head, I have more openings. 
Uh, lighten me up a bit, a little kick to the body. Ooh wee! A little kick to the head. I'm mitigating a decent bit of these punches. I'm probably doing a better job than Bruce would with Muhammad Ali's punches, to be totally honest with you. Ooh wee, big leg kick there. Another one. Oh, that was a foot sweep there. You couldn't see it. But I swept his foot, my right foot to his left. Right there. Punching is awesome. You could hear it. The hard part would be, where are they fighting? Are they fighting in a street, in a back alley? Are they fighting in a boxing ring? If they fight in a boxing ring, Bruce Lee would be in huge trouble. It's very hard to circle, which Bruce Lee would definitely be the guy on his back foot. It's very hard to circle in a squared area, especially a small one. Makes it very hard to kick, to lean back, get a bunch of space. If Jake had been pressuring me and we weren't in this big open gym, I would be having a much harder time getting around. Punching is awesome because you can use it defensively. You can keep people away from you with punishment or Kicks are a little bit different. Uh, you can do it, but it's Ooh, like a little hook kick. different range. And it's a little bit more difficult to do. Ooh. Oh, a little side kick there. See, I have my hands available to block punches. He doesn't have his legs available to block kicks, at least from a knowledge perspective. Like, I can cover up my head with my hands, he can't cover up his legs with his hands or he's gonna get kicked in the head. He, he could check it, which uh, he hasn't started doing yet because that's that's not something he's aware of, you know? Ooh. So, but the question is, he and I are the same size and he's still able to move forwards in this. If Bruce Lee kicked Muhammad Ali as hard as he could, would he be able to stop him with leg kicks? Ah, it's hard. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Oh, we need somebody. We just need somebody to just have like a Mortal Kombat, like survival to the like to yeah, the like, end. Uh, blood sport. Yeah. I feel like I've I've kind of done this. It's not the same. But as far as like fighting on different stages, different types of guys, different arenas, Ultimate Self Defense Championship felt like Mortal Kombat. Felt like um game of game of death. What was it? Game of Dragons. Which which movie is the Bruce? <laughs> which movie is the Bruce Lee movie where he has to fight all the different stages and levels of guys? What was that? I should know that. I should definitely know that. Um. Anyway, like, look. Here we're fighting on a bus. Here we're fighting on a bridge. Here we're fighting like two guys. Here we're fighting on a beach. Here we're fighting on a couch. Like we we kind of did this, and it was it was probably the, the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Real life Dude, sport. we ha we need this to they happen. Kind of, that's what this needs to be real life. And I promise you, there are people out here that will sign up for this. They will, and I think they do it over in Russia, probably. But I think. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was alive for the UFC one era, where like you could see all this stuff unfold, and you could like make these bets with your buddies. Who do you think is gonna win, the jujitsu guy, or the karate guy, or the boxer, or the? And they just like fought, and there was really no sanctions, and it just kind of like all went down. I wish I could have seen that live and got to feel all that, because now we kind of know MMA has just turned into MMA guys fighting slightly different MMA guys. Like we, we kind of have an idea of what it looks like before it happens. There's different types of fighters and there's different styles of fighting, but for the most part, it's all MMA, right? But when you see a sumo guy get kicked in the head and his tooth flies out, there's just something kind of crazy about that. All right, well, I'm petitioning for it. I'd buy a ticket. Well, we can't watch Muhammad Ali and Bruce Lee fight anymore. For a lot of money to see that go down. You gotta get the other guy tired. I mean, that's essentially what Van Dam did in Bloodsport. He, he kind of just outlasted him and then thankfully his- uh, I don't think you can get Muhammad Ali tired. I do like the sentiment here of trying to get the other guy tired, but Muhammad Ali was fighting for 12 rounds. He's fighting the best fighters in the world for 12 rounds. If we're talking about prime Muhammad Ali, I don't think he's ever getting slow enough to beat him in boxing. I, I don't think so. Uh, they had a fight with him and um and Inoki, I think it was. This was a kickboxer. Wasting no time, Inoki leaped through the air and threw a terrifying kick at Ali before falling down on his side. So this is an exhibition, Muhammad Ali, boxer versus Inoki, Antonio Inoki, uh, kickboxer, I believe, maybe a pancreation guy based off of the, the skimpiness of the shorts. And then essentially what happens is Inoki, not wanting to get punched, butt scoots at Muhammad Ali for like, I don't know, I don't know how many rounds it was. This left everybody asking one simple question. What in the actual f 
was going on. Yeah, he just tries to kick him from the ground. The answer was due to the inclusion of a last second rule, seen as more of a footnote by Ali's team. It had been agreed upon that Inoki was allowed to throw kicks at Ali while on the ground. Oh, I didn't know this. Okay. All right. Well, I didn't know it was, he was only allowed to throw kicks when he's on the ground. But yeah, no, I, uh, I don't think he's getting him tired. Thankfully, his sensei taught him how to fight blind, and he anticipated how the often? pocket sand movie. How was the last time you he watched He anticipated Blood the pocket Sport. sand movie. When's Did the last I mean? time you watched this? I own Bloodsport on my uh, <laughs> Apple movies, and I watch it. Whenever I'm feeling down, it's a great equalizer. It's a great equalizer. So he, he recommends pocket sand. Bruce Lee would pocket sand somebody. It would. I don't think it would put. I don't think he, I would put it past him. And I think it would probably be beneficial. I just think it'd be a little bit closer of a fight. Who, so you don't. You're not saying that uh, Bruce Lee would win. No, I'm just saying it'd be. A, it'd saying be that, a good bout. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it would. I don't think it would even be close. <laughs> Based off of the sparring footage that I've seen of Bruce Lee, Muhammad Ali's just, I think he, I think he would tear him apart. For the most part. I do think there's some things that Bruce Lee could have done and had the capabilities of doing that would make it a much closer fight and possibly very interesting. But if we're talking straight up boxing, Muhammad Ali wins. If we're talking a street fight in an alleyway, I think Muhammad Ali probably wins just because of the size difference. If we're talking a kickboxing match, where like your minds kind of are, are um, like going along with this rule set, I think that it's possible Bruce Lee hurts Muhammad Ali's legs. I still think Muhammad Ali wins. <laughs> Muhammad Ali, I don't know if Muhammad, is, Muhammad Ali is ready for the leg sweep. I don't know what to say to this. Dragon tail sweep? Uh, man, I feel like Muhammad Ali would be pretty hard to sweep if you're if he's 100 pounds heavier than you. His base is still really good and he moves around so well. I think it would be awkward for him. Hmm. All right, man. All right, well, that was that whole segment. I don't know, what do you guys think? Muhammad Ali or Bruce Lee? Leave your obviously gonna be super civil comments down below what you guys think. New Heights Podcast, it's a pretty good podcast. I enjoy it. Hopefully it doesn't get taken down or copyrighted. And if it did, guys, look, this is my website. I sell merch. Uh, I got courses up here, pretty good ones too, that can teach you how to kick, kind of like Bruce Lee. Uh, I've got a children's book about a parent teaching martial arts to their child. It's pretty fun. High boosted gloves, fantastic gloves. You can get a pair of your own, highboostfight.com slash sensei set, or uh, sensei set 10, sorry, get 10% off. Thanks for watching. Um, please don't rip me apart. I don't want to get canceled in the martial arts space again. Actually, I don't really care. Bye.